Hey, what's up guys? Your boy Antonio Edwards here. In today's video, I'm going to show you the formula we use when we're buying our slow flip properties, okay? And, you know, I, I do want to put it out there that you, you don't have to uh, use this as your end-all be-all because there's different ways you can, you know, skin a cat. But this is how I do our slow flips and so, um, so as well as my clients because the reason why we, we do this because, number one, you know, there's higher return on investment. The cheaper we can buy the property, right, that means there's a more return, a better return. And as an entrepreneur and as an investor, you should be, you know, focusing on what's the return on your money. And the second reason why we, we do this type of formula before I dig into the numbers is because um, if you're borrowing some, some private money or you're getting some funding to fund that deal and not paying cash, you can get these paid off a lot faster versus doing it with uh, the traditional financing where you just say, for instance, if you go buy a $250,000 property, yes, that's leverage, but we more than likely 99% of investors will have a $250,000 loan on, on a rental property has a 30 year mortgage. The reason why they have a 30 year mortgage is so their monthly payment can be cheaper, right? So they're doing the debt route. With this formula, it allows the free and clear route. So you have two models. You have the debt model, which yes, works for slow flips. That's why I said it's more than one way to skin a cat earlier. It's the debt model that works for slow flips, right? I have a couple of clients that do the debt model, but the majority, which I always done this model since I've been doing slow flips, and the majority of my clients, we do the free and clear model. That's why we buy the cheap one. So with that being said, let's get started. So with, with, with that, we like to, to say, uh, 50K and below, okay? So 50K and below far as price point, okay? That's 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 the, the price point, all right? Remember, um, we're not doing any repairs, so only thing we're looking at here is, is purchase price, as far as all-in investment, all right? You don't gotta worry about 30K, 20K repairs. So 50K and below, if I get this bad boy 20K, 30K, just, just, uh, just brilliant, okay? Secondly, right, I'm usually getting three to five K down, right, from OC means owner occupant, all right? So OC means owner occupant. So three to five K down, non refundable, right? Non refundable. They will never get that back. So if they walk away two, three years later, or even three months later and say, hey, this, this property ain't for me, we got three to five K down up front. That's tax free. Okay? Another thing, I like to, like, I like, we're, we're averaging about 700 to 1,000 a month cash flow. Cash flow per property. Okay, right? So 50K purchase price or below, definitely below, that's the goal, always go. Three to five K down, non-refundable from owner to occupant. We're averaging 700 to 1,000 a month cash flow per property, right, from our owner occupant, OC, right? And what most of you will probably do, and what I, what I, and most of you will probably do, and what I teach in the, the, the slow flip formula mini class, which you should click, click the link below, to join this, this mini class, I mean, I go through A through Z, how, how to find slow flips, private money, fit, uh, how to structure documents where they can never call you for any leaky toilet call, get a non-refundable, and set it up uh, every month where you're gonna generate your 700 to 1,000 a month, right, on autopilot. You're not collecting any monthly check, you're not collecting, you're not knocking on doors like, the, like, most, like some landlords I know do. They go knock and get their money orders every month. No, we're gonna set this bad boy up on autopilot because I like systems and I like I like to be stress free and that's where I teach you guys because that's what it's about passive income cash flow all right so if you're borrowing private money right private money we like to be at I like to I like to be from eight eight to twelve percent so eight to twelve percent is my private money lenders I like to, to generate and the reason why I like 8 to 12% is a, is a very good return for a passive investor, private money, somebody who has a 401, 401, 401k account, 
some IRA money or even some money that's idling in their savings or checkings account, right? I guarantee you know, some, some people could be watching this, but I don't want to buy a private money. Guarantee you know somebody with private money. This can be your aunt, this can be your mom, this can be your, somebody you go to gym with, you know? This can be, it could be anybody that you personally know, okay? That has money idling somewhere, it's parked somewhere, getting 1%. And if they have it in a savings account, where a lot of people have money and cash sitting at these days in a savings account, it's getting 0.006%, which is less than 1%. It's a joke. It's a joke. So how I break this down is, okay, how can I get my, my, uh, my lender a better than a 3% return? The reason why I say 3% return because inflation on average for years and years and years has been 3%. So they have their money idling in a savings account less than 1%. They're already losing more than 2% on their money. Some people don't even know this, but it's a savings account, right? You're saving. No. What, how we're taught in school, we have to unwind that, right? Reverse engineer our thinking and be like, okay, we have, you know, we have to think how entrepreneurs think. So I, I will present them with the 8 to 12%, which is like a very solid return on their money, okay? And so what I do, so just say, I got my phone on me, I'm gonna break down some numbers in a second. So just say I found a slow flip for 30 grand, okay? All right? What I like to do, going back to the free and clear model, I'm not going to have them fund the deal because I, I, I usually, what, a good thing about private lenders is you, more, than, more than likely you're going to be in the driver's seat. You're going to create the terms. This is not the bank where you go to the bank and go, hey, this is this, this is this, this is this. You're creating, because the private lender is not the money, they're not in business to lend money. You're creating a, a, a lender by presenting them the opportunity because it's an opportunity for them. They have the money sitting in a, in a savings account IRA or 401k account collecting dust and you're presenting an opportunity where they can get three to four times, five times more on their money. It's just crazy, right? So you put backed by real estate, secured by real estate. So just say if I found a property for, for $30,000, right? So now let me tell y'all something, it's $30,000. I will, I will call it, like hit up a property and present the opportunity, secured by real estate. I'm gonna show them comps. Hey, this property sold for 35, this sold for 30, this sold for 32, boom. You, if I don't pay you back, you get a you get a you get a deed of trust. That's just that's uh, drawn up by the closing attorney. The deed of trust allows your your lender to take the investment back. So you that's how you're like wow. Like so like it, it's hard for them to lose. If the house blows up, they get some um, some some lenders insurance. Right? Is there a title issue? They get lenders title insurance. It's just hard for them to lose as a lender. That's why it's so easy to it's well. Some people been watching, so it's saying it's not so easy. It is very easy to, to raise private money, but I understand from where I come from, where I started, it didn't seem as easy. But is I can at least say this: it's the easiest niche, and the easiest real estate is the easiest vehicle to raise money. Okay, easiest vehicles, easiest vehicle by far to raise money on. So I I, I, I find a property for 30 k, right? Just say a wholesale is sending this property for thirty k. What I'm gonna do? I'm going to get I'm going to get 35k from my private lender, so private lender. So now I'm going to get I'm going to, I'm going to borrow a little more, all right? And here's why because just say 30k, right? 30k. I buy the property. I walk. Just say minus closing costs because this will be closing costs. I walk away. They they funded the deal for 35k. I walk away after closing costs. I walk away before we even do the slow flip play with well, four grand in my pocket, tax free. Tax free. Some of you guys, this is a basic wholesale deal. So I'm already walking. I got paid to buy a property. And I want to show you how to get paid to buy a property. This is the play to get paid to buy a property. Right? I didn't go overboard and borrow $200,000 on a 30 grand property. I borrowed a little bit extra. Okay? But now, with that being said, I have to pay. So just say I'm bringing out my, my, my handy dandy uh, calculator. By the way, if you don't have the, the app, the letter E, the letter Z calculators, easy calculators, get it. Best, best, the best thing out here to smoke. So dip is all, there's a lot of calculators in this one app, and this right here is a long calculator. So with that being said, I'm gonna do, I like to borrow my money from five to seven years, okay? Five to seven years. I'm not gonna use their money like a traditional bank. I don't. I don't want to be paying 
monthly payment being debt for 30 years. But five to seven years goes by fast, trust me. Like my goal is like, how fast can I like collect a little bit of cash flow from that five, seven years. I know I'm paying that lump sum of monthly payments in for five, seven years. And how fast can I get this free, this free and clear where I'm paying them off in full? So collect a little bit in between for those five or seven years. But after that five or seven years, that full blown seven hundred to a thousand dollars is going in my pocket every single month. Net, boom. Okay. So just say I bought thirty five grand at eight percent, right? Seven years. So there, there you go. I don't know if y'all can see that, but. It says 35,000, 8%, seven years. That monthly payment for that seven years to my to my lender is gonna be $545.52, right? So 545.52, right? That's my monthly payment. MP means monthly payment. That's my monthly payment to my private lender for seven years. For seven years, okay? All right? Not bad. So I go out there, but I walked away. Look, I bought I bought actually 5k. So with closing costs, because it cost it's closing costs to pay, you know, to buy property at all at all times. Right? They 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 was thirty thousand for the for the purchase price plus one k in closing costs. They loaned me thirty five, and I walk away with four k. Right? And my, my first payment of 545.52 is not to the following month. That's how I do it. So right so right now we're at the end of September, right? It's not gonna be October 1st. My, my first payment with them is gonna be November 1st. Follow me? So now we go out, we go market the property, right? Now I have this property for 30K. It need, needs some little bit of some repairs, but I'm not gonna do the repairs. I'm gonna put it out there where they act as the, um, the, the, uh, the owner of the property but they don't get the deed until it's paid off. Just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful play. I also go out there and I get another, say three to five grand. So I go out there, right? And I get another 4K down. Remember, non-refundable from owner occupant. So now I got $8,000 in my pocket up front. Four for my private lender, because I brought a little more, right? That was net. And then I got another 4K down from my owner occupant. Right? And here's another thing. We usually like to get the first month monthly payment as well as the 4K. So just say this was $900 a month, right? Right? $900. I'm going to get 4K plus $900. So now I got uh, 4, 4, and 9. I got $8,900 up front, right? Basically, from the time I close to maybe like a couple days later when we get off, because it takes about a day or two to find an occupant, own occupant. This play right here, filling these properties are so gold mine and so easy, right? Rental properties to me is a little harder because people are looking for the, something about the word rent, like people look for it to be great. Unless you just have some cheap rent, cheap, cheap rent, okay? But I'm still gonna get the, like this same land, like this same property, 30 grand, if I put the word rent out there, they would not pay $900 for this amount. But now that I'm putting out there that owner of finance and like you you do the repairs, you work the value up for the property to ownership, right? Now all of a sudden they can pay $900 because I tweaked the message. Just two totally different dynamics, rental or owner finance. They're paying the same amount. It's, it's crazy. So I got $8,900. Damn, this is getting me so excited. Woo! Like $8,900 in my pocket, right? Up front. That nobody won't get, like, it's not refundable, okay? So that's day one. So now, and I'm getting $900 a month. I got that up front, but just say the end of September, I won't have them pay that because they just paid that. So I kind of look at it as like October. Now they pay that next $900, November 1st, when their first payment's due. Hey guys, so if you want to learn how to buy assets like this, is what we call slow flips. You want to know the slow flip strategy and learn the whole ins and outs. It's eight steps. I have my eight step checklist. You don't have to be the landlord ever again. Never have to do the repairs. Get a non-refundable down payment up front in your pocket tax free and collect monthly cash flow and be the bank. Download my eight step monthly checklist in the description. Click the link below. So now I got $900, right? So 
minus 545.52 to my to my um, lender. This would this would be the cash flow 354.48 a month minus taxes insurance. So tax insurance is usually about 100. I just say about 150. This is about 150 dollars. So my net cash flow or props would be $204.48 a month. However, right, I got $8,900 down or in my pocket already. So you, you take that, 80, so 204.48, right, times 12 months, that's 2453.73, plus the 8,900 that I got, I got $11,353.70, right, in the first year, right? It's crazy, it's crazy. So if you divide that by $35,000 that I borrowed, that's a 32% return on my investment, right? Crazy, like I'm just blown away, all right? Anyway, so with that being said, this is usually the formula, okay? I use the bar private money at eight to 12%. Now some people that's watching this, if you buying cash, like upfront, cause some people, I know some people are watching this, not everybody, most people ain't buying private money, but some people have cash right now to buy 30, 40, $50,000 slow flips. They already got cash, they got 401k accounts. They, they, I, my, my, matter of fact, one of my top slow flip members, certified members, she didn't even really know about this play. She was looking to wholesale, right? And after she, I, I told her, I was like, I was like, so what's your situation? She's like, well, I, I got this money sitting in my my uh, my IRA, blah, 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 and uh, we're, we're using that for marketing. I was like, hold it, <laughs> rewind it for a second. I was like, do you know that you can skip the line of wholesaling and use that money to buy slow flips? Because she knew of slow flips. She said, wow, you can do that? It's like, wow, oh, hold, hold on, oh, 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 she say, and I said, by the way, I don't have one slow flip right now, but I have two slow flips for you right now. Not one, not just one, but two. So she bought her first two slow flips right away based off that conversation. I believe one was 30 grand, one was 35 grand, paid cash. 20 slow flips later, that's where she's at. And it's been less than two years. Okay, so some people have that type of cash and she's using her IRA money to deploy to buy that because her IRA money Again, IRA money is getting, I don't know, 1%, depending, maybe maybe one, just, I know for a fact it's getting less than inflation. So you're still losing money on IRA money. So now her average, she's getting, she's averaging 25 to 35% cash on cash return buying slow flips. It's like, it's, it's a bank. It's like her, it's like her savings account. It's a modern day savings account versus that same money if she's had it sitting in her IRA account, is getting less than like basically just say one percent. So one percent of it being in, in this vehicle turns to twenty-five to thirty-five percent at this vehicle, right? Just by maneuvering over from one to two using her cash. So those are people that can use their cash, right? Click the link below, guys, if you want to learn more about slow flips, right? From raising private money to buy these what markets we're buying them in, the documents we use, how we structure these, how we're collecting these monthly payments. I mean, yeah, how to collect the monthly payments, but how to collect your non-refundable upfront. Because it is, it is, it's a simple art to this, it's not that hard, right? What type of, what type of uh, like um, um, offers we put in in the markets? Click the link below, I have a mini class right in this description, you'll see somewhere in the description, you see a link to click. I have a mini class it's called the Slow Flip Formula. Best not even you, 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 you should carve right to, to learn this play because it's a game changer. A lot of people that's watching this probably wholesale properties and the name of the game is you wholesale properties, whether you're wholesaling or you're fixing flipping, right? You do one of the two or both, right? To, to, to get your cash up so you can then leverage that cash to buy buy and hold properties. Most of us buy buy and hold properties in the rental, the traditional rental route, become landlords. And trust me, I know tons, tons of investors, right? In the specifically the single family world, those hundred doors that they own, they're stressed because they're always getting a leaky toilet. Out of a hundred doors, you're gonna stay getting a leaky toilet call no matter the condition. Because tenants know they, they can call, oh, the plug's not working, let me call the landlord. <laughs> Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's crazy and it, it can stress you out. And you never know where you be at 
You could be in a good place. You could be on a fucking vacation, right? And you get that leaky toilet fall. That that could that two thousand dollar water heater can mess up your whole mood at your vacation. With this play, you're not gonna worry about any of those leaky toilet calls, and that's why I like the this the slow foot peg play. Click the link below. I'll show you how to do this from A through Z on the mini class and Tony Edwards signing off.